we are gathered here today to talk about Damon X Machina? Machina? Machina. Machina? I don't know. Uh, the the free game on Epic Game Store. Uh, it's a, com a combat oriented mech game. Um, sort of feels like an armored core game with uh, the graphics of Jet Set Radio Future, I guess. Well, we kind of jumped in maybe a little bit, a little too quickly into the deep end, I guess. So we wanted to just do a, some initial thoughts on it. Momo, I heard you were ready with some thoughts, eager to share. I do have some thoughts, but why don't we? instead talk about like some of the more positive aspects of this game first <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah well i liked it i mean I, I think that it certainly like sort of poked a hole in my general philosophy approaching these things which is just to be like i'm not gonna look anything up about it i'm i'm just gonna jump in and you know if it's good then it should all fall into place i shouldn't have any trouble figuring out what's going on etc and I don't know, like, usually if a game isn't super intuitive and doesn't just, like, fall into place for me within those parameters, I'm like, well, fuck this game. Like, I don't think it's good. It's going to get a frowning Garfield. But I think that this game's probably actually good. I don't know. Um, especially after trying the, the single player a little bit. It seems like it's necessary to play the single player for a while before you play the multiplayer. And that's probably the biggest hole I could poke in it. Um, but it does seem like it's probably fun. Yeah, I think, I think as evidenced by uh, everyone switching, well, I guess it was kind of forced that everyone switched to multiplayer, but I, I was starting, I started playing multiplayer before, and oh. I was like, kind of bummed that we were moving into the uh, co-op stuff because I was having a really good time, like just grinding through the levels. They're, they're quick, they're short. Controls feel really good, and I, I actually am a big fan of like the gameplay loop of just like get cool guns, get cool items for your, your Mac, build it up. Um, I wish that it was easier to do that with friends, you know, like that would be amazing if it just worked <laughs> and we were able to just do the campaign with 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 your your buddies. But for whatever reason, uh, it doesn't seem like that works right now. Yeah. So the two. Um main multiplayer modes we tried co-op and then uh exploration mode the co-op one is just boss fights which would be like every probably five or six missions in the single player it'd be like a version of that that takes way too much damage of course so that you can divvy them amongst four people um but then the explor exploration mode seemed like the start of the multiplayer mode I wanted it to be, um, where you're just killing kind of mobs, and then there's maybe a little bit more of a challenge at the end of the what is basically a dungeon. But you're given two at the start after you do the tutorial. The first one's totally doable, not very hard, and then the second one adds in a lot of random stuff that uh, you kind of need to know. You need to know to expect it, like the healing pods, the acid rooms the fire, a whole bunch of stuff, um, all going in at once, and uh, no real scaffolding to teach you about it. So it definitely expects you to play more of the single player mode before you jump into that stuff. Multiplayer is probably mid to late game, post game type of stuff here in the way that they've implemented it. It would have been really cool to see more of that early experience opened up for a co-op type of run, but I get it. Um, it's just interesting that they chose to do it in this way, I suppose. The versus mode, we played a couple 1v1s. It actually seems really cool, and I think 2v2s would be awesome in this, but of course, you need better gear for that to be really fun. And probably some specialized builds, um, maybe even strategies. <laughs> I think it's got a lot of potential. Definitely has some infrastructure problems being released on Epic Game Store this week. The friends, the friends list stuff just isn't really working, and it seems like... It's a cool game. I, I like the single player quite a bit. Um, I mean, I've been I've been fucking with it for a couple days now, and quite like it. Feels like a Dreamcast game in the modern era. It looks good. It, it, it's it's fun. It's bonkers story wise. I like the weird multiplayer stuff we played. It just I'd be curious to play this game multiplayer on like a platform that either isn't broken or isn't brand new. Because I feel like a lot of it just kind of started falling apart for me that was working, but I liked it. It's, Neat. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna go through this entire game. It's fun. We didn't really talk about the visuals. I'm sure like the footage shows it, but it looks amazing. And it can. This was originally on Switch, and I played the demo, and it ran like crap. Uh, I don't think it hit 30 most of the time, but 
there's not a lot going on, but what they do put the emphasis on is like the the particle effects, the guns, and of course the robots gotta look cool. Everything else is pretty low detail, but uh, it makes the game run a lot smoother, and I guess it puts the focus on the action. Style. It's got very good style. Yeah, people were mentioning it's the Sega feel, and it really does feel like, you know, old Sega arcade game at times. Yeah, that's the thing, like, it looks really cool. I just wish that they would have, like, shown us more cool stuff. Like, I don't know, I mean, again, it's like, it's the flaw in... I guess the philosophy of weekend rental that we just want to jump into the multiplayer thing but like i feel like it shouldn't be so stripped down that it's just all these gray hallways that you're flying through like when i popped into the, yeah. the single player mission i was like pretty surprised to see something beyond like yeah like gray paneled hallways there was like a city there was trees there was fun stuff to look at i, I don't really know why that wouldn't be uh, I think you could just do in the multiplayer. Yeah, I mean, I I do think this game has potential, and I think all the customization elements are appealing, but it does kind of feel like if you keep playing this game, it, it might just kind of feel formulaic. And I, I don't know, personally, I kind of think it does lack a personality. It just is kind of like an amalgamation of like, all like anime and mecha shit just combined and like you know doesn't really have a story and it's just i don't know i just kind of don't like when games are designed in a certain way with these gameplay elements and like don't and like don't really have anything like it it feels like it doesn't really have a soul you know to me that. Yeah. But I, I think the gameplay itself is like pretty cool and like who knows what they could do with this game But that's just kind of like how the feeling I was getting from it. It was just like kind of just like a game without You know a soul really <laughs> Yeah, I feel a bit of that but at the same time I also uh, I was comparing it to Earth Defense Force where it's really I mean that game is literally just mission after mission um, of you know, increasingly ridiculous fights. Um, I don't know how how deep this game gets into that ridiculousness, but I do think that it captures the uh, the like, gameplay loop of that a bit. Um, but yeah, like, you're, but yeah, I would agree with you that it, I think that having this weird anime storyline that I frankly skipped every single <laughs> cutscene that I could. Um, you know, so I can't speak too much about how it's glued together, but it, it, there's far too much of it. Yeah, like, to, to to digest right away, and then like like we were saying earlier, like there's like all these characters that are like busting your chops and stuff. And it's just like I don't know you. <laughs> you can't hurt me. I don't know you. This rapport that we have uh, out of nowhere, but that's just the... anime ass anime. It's, yeah. it's like with games it like really this, is. you know, the story is just like very secondary, and I don't yeah. know how I feel about like games that you know with like a secondary kind of story when i don't know when the way it's like presented is like you know it has like these characters and shit you could just leave it out yeah when when the gameplay is like it's somewhere between a mech sim and an arcade game but it feels more like arcade or actiony uh than a sim type game but then this the story yeah like you're saying it presents itself in a forefront kind of way like you come in and you get all this dialogue all these characters and they're just sh shouting back and forth throughout the whole match or the whole mission and they're not really saying anything that i could even think to care about um yeah. but i like the mission i like the action it's kind of, it's kind of pick up and play the missions are short and digestible i think it's if like if it's what you want it's um structured in a way where you can pop in, do a couple, and pop out. So, I like it for that, and I'll, I'll, I'll probably keep playing it, just to see how far it goes, like Rabdo was saying. Um, I want to know how how far they go with like upping the stakes. Like, can you throw a building at a robot? I appreciate just how stupid and absurd and like deep they've made the characters a story that no one gives a fuck about. And like, <laughs> you know, where it's just kind of like, I just want to play this, this game right now. I don't care. I can skip through it and just you know i want to i want to see the the robots go boom at this point so like i 
it is a weird middle ground though that like why do they even go this far to include all this stuff if it doesn't really matter but it's right kind of... it's like why present a state it's like for instance with like rocket league there's no fucking rocket league story but what if it was i mean yeah but there <laughs> but, yeah. but it's not like that kind of game it, or it's like not yeah. presenting itself as that type of game where it's like pop in and play it's like i don't know it's just it's weird confusing. yeah it's like trying to do that star fox thing yes feels very Star Fox. But they just don't have the banter and it's not funny enough and it's not... There are so many characters. There's so many like storylines. I'm like, dog, I don't know what is going on. You know, it, it... They're not distinct enough. And even the one that was like super distinct that I saw in the single player mode is like, oh, I'm a aggro meathead. I'm just going to smash some stuff. And I was like, all right, what else? What's the extra like spice this character has? They didn't have any. They just wanted to wham stuff. So I would probably turn all the voices off. Yeah, it felt really good to pop into the pause pause menu and slide the music and the voices all the way down. Oh, I like the music. Music. Don't get me wrong. It, uh, yeah, I mean, for me, it's a particular kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's just very very overwhelming. It's it's kind of just incessant, like the whole time. Sensory overload. It's a guitar solo that lasts like as long as you have the game on. <laughs> it, it feels like so to harp on the Sega Dreamcast thing. It feels like this was like a really good arcade game that people loved, and they brought it home and had to put a story with it. So they like made this arcade game, brought it home, and had to make a story mode on it. That make so they just did this, and it was the best they could do. See, yeah, it's kind of kind of. I mean, there are some games that were like that. And it's like, well, you know, here for the game. And what happened with Power Rangers? They just like took footage, and then we're like, well, what if we like added kids like talking about stuff in between all of these fight scenes that were filmed years ago in japan genius it genius. really is it's it's beautiful <laughs> well i can't give it a garfield yet yeah i, I think of it positively this game I just think I think if you like this type of game, you'll like it. Like, I. But I just think it kind of just boils down to this like ultra competitive thing at like a certain point, probably. I mean, I don't really know if I can make that judgment, but because I've, I've played like a few hours of it, but it just kind of gives me that vibe that at a certain point, it's just like it just gets really try hard. Yeah, I do wonder, um, like multiplayer seems like a good reason to want to go back and get cooler loot and customize your builds, but then like, how is that ba balanced and is it balanced in matchmaking or do you just kind of like enter with your pea shooter that you start with and then that thing is no awful, man. tears or anything, um, it's terrible, it feels so bad. It's really bad. One of the yeah. Find ever. a weapon from a higher level person, get that, and somehow you're killing everything in like one hit, and you take that back into the main game. That makes sense. I love it. That would be awesome. Yeah. I mean, that's what I want. I want to the beam weapons. They hid weapons in the game for me. I'm going to play until I get the beam weapon. That's kind of how, how I'm feeling. <laughs> yeah. I want the beam weapon, that CPU that has deadlock, uh, deadlock on. Sounds really cool. Would make the game clearer. Um, the stuff they start you out with, I guess in the story, you're uh, a budding mercenary. Everybody's a mercenary. Of course, post-apocalyptic wasteland, you have to fight giant robots. You know, you know the deal. Um, but you're, it's a real rags to riches story. You're trying to climb the ladder. Start with a terrible gun. Not even any rockets. Yeah, it, it should. it's fine if it's a terrible gun. I just wish it wasn't like an unfun gun. It should still be mm -hmm. fun. They, that was a miss for me. <laughs> the semi-automatic assault rifle yeah. on a huh. giant robot. Huh. Why? The, man, the big so when I got the rocket pod, the single player, like I love just streams of bullshit lights and missiles that just fucking go have an impact and all that. Like the the warhogs and the ender stuff, all that stuff. These those swarm missiles kind of suck in this. There's <laughs> like three or four that just kind of peter with little blue boxes around them and don't really do anything. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how those if there's no lock on that function. It's kind of there if it's in your camera view. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I like it. I'm, I'm going to continue playing single player, but... Me too. It's weird. Yep. Yep. I will continue pecking away at it when I have a taste for it. Um, I don't think I'm going to like swap it into my main rotation, but I'm sure I'll come back to it. 
when you start feeding equipment into other equipment to make better equipment. That's when, like, you got me. You got me. I, oh, that's that mag stuff. Yep. You can, yeah, basically, you can start uh, getting gear and then using that gear to combine with other things to, to create other stuff. It, it's got it's got that, that armored core style thing to it that's kind of neat, but not super deep where it's overwhelming. It almost feels like it could have been a free-to-play or gotcha game. Yeah, yeah. And if if it was, I would have never tried it, but it m might be more successful at what the kind of experience it wants to provide, you know? And it was a Switch exclusive for full price, Oof. which makes no sense. Yeah. As a like, full price PC game, I couldn't recommend it, really. Uh, Probably not. Hell no. But if people like this kind of game and it's on sale, I think it's, it's definitely going to satisfy anybody who looks at it and thinks they, they, want, they want to play it. For me, it's satisfying so far. So, yeah. I don't really know how, how to close this conversation, I guess. <laughs> um, I was trying to get there with, like, would you continue playing single player? Oh, yeah. Um, I feel like yes. you probably would. It, it, it would yes. be interesting to see where that goes. For free? Well, it sounds like you're probably no. I don't think so. <laughs> not your kind of game. It's not for me. I definitely will until I get that charge beam. <laughs> right. That's... Then you see how it feels. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, there's multiple layers of charge beams. I want that. We did get all get blasted by that blue cylinder beam that was like filled this much. I want that. <laughs> I want one of those that shoots out of my chest, and that's the only thing I want to have. Exactly. I want that Gundam Wing Zero, like double gun, oh, blow yeah. up half the planet gun. Definitely. It, 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 I'll, I'll say I have the intention of playing it or continuing to play it, but I'll probably just play Hitman instead. Yes. Like I have. That should be, we should just end every everything with that. Just play Hitman. I'll just play Hitman. Just, <laughs> just Hitman. Just play Hitman. <laughs> oh my god. I, all right. Well, can we talk about Hitman? Because we can talk about Hitman. We can talk about Hitman. All right. All right.